Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your homeworld. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. 
If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that Dreadnought whenever you are. Admiral Stephen Hatt. Tali Zora, a Quarian machinist, was born in 2161 on the live ship Raya. During her pilgrimage, a rite of passage in which Quarians proved their worth to the fleet, she recovered a Geth memory core that proved a rogue specter, Saron Arterius, was working with the Geth. <laughs> Commander? That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? 
Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships' captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Sally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me? If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? 
When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Suite has accessed their docking protocols. All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Nice to meet you, Sparks. Sparks? Yeah, you've got lights in your... Uh... And you're kind of small and jumpy. It just came out. If you say so. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. schematics. If you can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hole 
range not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Garrel tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hole was the only damage we did. Well, I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No. He was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. What about the other Admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. Not if I have anything to say about it. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Clear to board. Any trouble, Commander? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. That's their guardian system. They're using ultraviolet frequencies, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive. ...and a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. We'll make them pay for that. Go! 
intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. What do you think, Commander? Disable their shields. Then take them down before they recharge. Signals hitting all guest processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. We've tried jamming. Looks like data from the sensors. How's the battle going? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. They just need to hold out a little longer. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundant... The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and turn the tables on these bastards. The Hunters are moving in! Console is operational. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere.
just not organics. Reminds me of that collector ship I blew to hell. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Just don't let them put you behind a desk. Signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. 